Hi, I'm Tony Svekar with the Agricultural Research Service, and uh, we're here at the boundary of the Northern Great Basin Experimental Range, that's our sign. And uh, this area was established, it's, it's 16,000 acres. It was established in 1936 to 38, and it's dedicated to the studying the ecology and management of Sagebrush Step rangelands. This is the conference center. We uh, organize lots of events here, including separate workshops we do for high school and for college students. This is the visitor center at the Northern Great Basin Experimental Range. We're here in the headquarters compound, and all these buildings were built in, uh, as I mentioned earlier, 36 to 38 by a civilian conservation corps crew, and they lived out here for several years. And uh, it's been an experimental range ever since then. And we've tried to keep the original appearance of the building. These are the rainout shelters, and what we can do is exclude all natural rainfall and then add it back whenever we like. And that's one of the ways we study climatic effects. We have 13 four-acre exclosures at the experimental range, and uh, they've not been grazed since 1937 or 38, and uh, we're standing at the boundary of one of those exclosures. So one area has been grazed, and one area has not. That's the area that has not been grazed. We're standing on the edge of a burn, as you can tell from the dead juniper tree, and that's one of the advantages of having an experimental range. We can apply treatments and then study the impacts of those treatments long term. Well, this concludes our tour. Uh, this is our main sign on Highway 20 between Burns and Bend. Uh, I'd encourage you to visit our website to learn more about our program. Thanks for watching.